Hey folks, how's everybody doing today? It's fabulous Friday. Smoking my Washington cob. Just look at that grain. In it, I have some Robert Lewis tree mixture. You can see I've taken that silly sticker off because I don't like it. This has Turkish Orientals, Latakia, some Black Cavendish, and some Virginia. It's quite nice. Thank you, tree. Ah, oh, the air conditioner has turned off so I can hear myself think. Almost just bit through the bit. To spin it around in my mouth. It's loose as it is on most of my cobs. So what's up? I was thinking about something. I want you to think about something. In fact, I want you to think about everything. Not all at once, mind you. I was thinking about how people form ideas. I mean, things that they really adhere to. You know, this is what I believe kind of ideas, ideals. Do they think carefully about them? Do they think critically about them? Do they think about them? thinking about how people come up with some of the things that they espouse. Now, I got curious about online social media stuff. How many people get their ideas and push their ideas on social media? It turns out quite a few. Facebook says it has 2 billion users. I thought, how many Americans? So I looked it up. I looked up social media participation. About three-fourths of Americans are on some social media. Most are on multiple forms. What do you think the biggest one is? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's actually YouTube. There are more Americans that visit YouTube on a regular basis than any other social media platform. And that goes, you'd think, you know, there's 70, 75% of Americans are on social media. It takes a, a quite varied uh, age range to achieve that number of people. And in fact, people over 65 that are on there are close to 40%, not 40% of the people, but for, of, of the users, but 40% of that generation is actually on social media. And it goes up the younger you get. I 
Facebook's number two. I can't remember who was three and four. It was Twitter and Instagram, but I don't remember the, the order. Anyway, so you go on Facebook, and I think a lot of people get their ideas and push their ideas on that platform. People go on there and they see something, they repost it as fact. Half the time it's not true. Probably more than half the time. Or it's silly or made up or it's a joke and they don't realize it's a joke or whatever. But I think a lot of people put a lot of weight into the things that they see on social media. I liken it to a kid going to a pumpkin patch to pick out his pumpkin. You see it all the time. There's a field with thousands of pumpkins in it. kid runs out there and he's so absolutely thrilled he runs up to the first pumpkin he sees grabs a hold of it and falls in love with it this one this one this one mommy this one daddy it has been deemed the best of the bunch that's like social media people see something and unless it goes against what they already believe. It's the best thing ever. It's the best idea ever. Then you've got non-social media. The news outlets. I liken them to being more like... Uh, Ikea or something like that. You can find the idea, you can find things in there, but you have to go through what they want you to see before you finally get to the thing that you claim is your own. You have to see every item in the store before you can choose and leave with yours. That's more like the way media presents ideas to us. Or sticking with the pumpkin theme, if you go to a, sh uh, a grocery store to buy your pumpkin, they have like three or four boxes of pumpkins out front typically. These have been deemed the best ones. These are the ones that you get to choose from. Even though we took them out of a field with 10,000, we're presenting you with 400 of them. These are the best ones, trust us. Get your pumpkins from us. We know what best we know which is the best pumpkin for you. That's like media. Get your ideas from us. We know which ones are best. These are the ones we present to you. Ideas should be cultivated in your own mind. You're like that guy that grows those 8,000 pound pumpkins for those, you know, biggest pumpkin competitions. You start with a seed. You probably chose that seed carefully from other pumpkins that were great. You planted it in the best soil you could possibly find. You watered it. You took care of it daily, made sure it had the proper amount of sunlight made sure it had the proper amount of you know fertilizer made sure it was it was coming along and growing the, the correct way that you wanted it to grow I'm getting bigger and better all the time until finally you had your own pumpkin 1236 pounds that you can put up against probably two or three other people. And 
have it be judged. Critically judged. Until someone determined whose who's pumpkin was the best. That's the way ideas should be formed. That's the way ideas should be judged. Not by the first one you come to. Or select from a group of ones that someone, someone else has chosen to show you. But ones that you've come up with and carefully cultivated and, and changed and, you know, everything that goes into it until you come up with the best line of thought that you can on whatever subject it is. Then you share it with the judges. You show it to people along the way to get their take on it. I think maybe you need a little more water. Maybe it needs a few more days. Next time, maybe use this kind of soil. Whatever. You look at other people growing their pumpkins. What are they doing right? What are they doing wrong? What makes theirs good? What makes them not good? You criticize each other. Encourage each other. Before long, you've got a, a, a really good group of ideas about a subject. That's the way society moves forward. Sharing of really good, sharing of really bad ideas, but the sharing of ideas in general is the way the way society moves forward. So I encourage everybody to think, think critically about stuff that you see. Share your ideas. From the moment they're a seed until you're about to turn them over, turn them over to the judges. Share them with people. It's the best way to grow healthy ideas. Anyway, I'm going to go finish this pipe. I may come back with a question video in a little while. Something for you to think about. So until then, you guys enjoy your pipe. Mine's talking to me and ignore the hype.